10, 11, or 12 in that range. And uh, used to run around here all the time. But when I look at these two guys, Maloney and Allen, they, they were the years that were just amazing for Coach Duffy. But Paul was right before them. And you know about Matt. Oh, yeah, his father was a temple. But do you, what's, what's the Penn State connection? Uh, I don't know that. He was going to come to, he committed to but Penn State for, out of Vanderbilt. Yeah. He, he was going to transfer to Penn State out of Vanderbilt with John Amici and then he ran in. Oh, that's right. John Amici told yeah. me that story. Yeah. That's yeah. exactly right. So you look at those years, they were great years. I like to think my brother Paul, I think early, early 90s, kind of set them up. And he's around here so Talking about just running around here when you were little. So, how old were you? I'm 10, 11, 12 in that range. And you're with your big brother and you think, it's the greatest thing ever that he's ever been a part of. He's a he's the big man on campus for football. We're getting great seats behind the Penn bench for basketball. Now, which brother? Are you talking this about Paul? Tim. Tim. This is my brother. Tim. I'm good. So that was uh, early '80s, and we've been connected to the University see, of Penn for a long time. See, Pat, I have to duck under this. Right? This game is going to be either at noon or one. We don't know which. ESPN's picking the time, but they don't want to go up against the NFL, so we kind of knew it was going yeah. to be after. But what is it about, and I wish it was sunny, but it's not today. But what is it about the sun coming out of that? You're going to see the sunlight off the, off the court. The, this section over here is really going to enjoy it because they're going to get that whole ambiance yeah. of an old school gym, kind of like Hoosiers. Back Reminds in the day. me of where I went to school early in Cincinnati, then we had the Armory Fieldhouse. Oh, and yeah. It wasn't any bigger than this. There's so we'd come in and scream at Denny Crumb, you know, yeah. in the afternoon. And, and, but the purest that type of fan, man, they're gonna really appreciate that. And when, there's, when this place is full. The smell of the gym, it's gonna be so hot. Yep. I recommend, Are you I know it's January, I, I put a t-shirt on and <laughs> shorts. Are you gonna have them crack up the yeah. Of course. Right. No, we, don't, we won't have to, because it's gonna be sold out. Um, during the Atlantic 10 tournament, um, before the first and second sessions, or between days, I think it was, we would play, on this floor, but look at this floor. I mean, it looks like it's been here forever. Talk about floors and rims. Yeah. Because these are the softest rims I ever showed on. Ever. Yeah. They're like dreams. Yeah. yeah. So you would know better, right? Yeah. But this I floor, would. this <laughs> floor is, I think it's magical. It's kind of a throwback. And you can see it's old school. Now they've, re they've sanded it, they've repainted it, they've done a ton of stuff to it, but it still has that great feel of... It still looks like a church. Yeah, it <laughs> still looks like it should be in the bottom of a church yeah, in a basement yeah, somewhere. Yeah. Uh, but it's, it's awesome. And that's why it's in the cathedral. That's why people want to play here. That's why people want to come back here. And, and the nets and just the whole environment. It's not a big And there isn't any really bad, there aren't any bad seats. And the thing is, when the noise starts here, it, it, everything is hard here and it has no place to escape. There, is no, there are no acoustics, so it's like fourth and fifth echoes yeah. off the walls. It's going to be definite. It's I mean, we, awesome. could, we could do it now. Yeah. And that is why we love the plush. No doubt.